Amber, I know this has been going on for about six to eight weeks. What is your sense on what sorts of challenges the business community will be facing in the days and weeks ahead? Well, we are leading into our slow time of season. So it really just depends on the industry. Restaurants now have the authority to be able to open, but there are many strict guidelines as well that might be able to hinder, that might hinder their ability to do that. Plus, there's still concerns out there as to, is it really safe? You're hearing from the governor, but then you also hear from Pima County and the mayor with their own set of recommendations. The differences in rules has certainly negatively impacted businesses. Um, there is, it's creating uncertainty. What can I do? How can I operate? If I do this, will I get in trouble with this other entity? And it's very problematic. We have consistently said there must be one set of rules and guidelines for ease. So it's really just mudding the waters. Early on, the feds announced there would be stimulus um, dollars coming this direction. And we heard from the Arizona Chamber of Commerce and Industry recently about the millions that came in. Locally, did the dollars actually make their way to Arizona businesses here in Pima County? They are starting to, absolutely. Um, the payroll protection plan certainly has been disseminated. We did a survey of our members, about 30% who applied did receive those funds in that first round. I'm certain that more received it since the second round as well. And then the city and the county have funds too and they are creating their strategies to be able to get that into the community in the highest and best use. I think it's fair to say that in some circles, this has become a political polarizing issue. Here in this region, we have too soon Arizona, or in the state of Arizona, I should say. Would you say that that has pitted businesses apart from those who are ready to reopen and others who say, you know what, I'm not prepared to do this just yet? I would absolutely say that, and it's, been disappointing to watch and I'm not taking a stance whether or not we should or should not open but what I don't like to see is that those businesses that made that choice that is allowed by our government representatives they are now being judged by by others which absolutely divides the community what is your word of advice or caution to those that are really struggling with as you said being judged well, communications. I think it's really important to fully and clearly articulate what plans you have in place for the health and safety of the employees, as well as the customers. What efforts do you have? Is everyone wearing gloves? Is everyone wearing masks? What are your processes and protocols in place to eliminate and reduce those touch points to achieve appropriate social distancing requirements. It's really important that consumers know that when they walk into a business, they can clearly see that every reasonable accommodation has been made to make them safe. Amber, you've got your ear to the ground um, in the business community, but also with families and schools. What's being left out of this discussion right now as Arizona begins to reopen? Childcare. So Arizona is open. However, what do those parents do whose children are still at home when normally they would be in school? What do they do when there aren't any summer camps? This is a critical issue that we must talk about more is how do we achieve social distancing and safety and be able to have childcare? What does that look like? All right, putting things into perspective for us, Amber Smith from the Tucson Metro Chamber. Thanks for your insight today. Thanks, Lorraine.